What's good, R&B squad? This is Heart of Ruth. I trust that this message meets you guys in good spirits. If you're new here, welcome. We don't believe that you're here by accident. We're happy to have you. And Jesus is, of course, even happier. At the time that I'm recording this, it is 3.21 a.m. And the Lord really has been speaking to me very intently about a lot of different things. Hence the reason... I'm up this early recording this. Now, this is a word that is going to be for a lot of you. A lot of you are going to be able to relate to this because a lot of you have prodigals in your lives, okay? I'm going to read from Luke chapter 15. This is the King James Version. This is the scripture that the Lord has had me in. I'm not going to read the entire thing. You guys can read the entire thing for yourselves so that you can get a better understanding of it. But I will read the parts that the Lord highlighted to me. Then drew near unto him all the publicans and sinners for to hear him. And the Pharisees and scribes murmured, saying, This man receiveth sinners and eateth with them. And he spake this parable unto them, saying, What man of you, having an hundred sheep, if he lose one of them, doth not leave the ninety and nine in the wilderness, and go after that which is lost until he find it? And when he hath found it, he layeth it on his shoulders, rejoicing. And when he cometh home, he calleth together his friends and neighbors, saying unto them, Rejoice with me, for I have found my sheep which was lost. I say unto you that likewise joy shall be in heaven over one sinner that repenteth, more than over ninety and nine just persons which need no repentance. Either what woman having ten pieces of silver, if she lose one piece, doth not light a candle and sweep the house, and seek diligently till she find it? And when she hath found it, she calleth her friends and her neighbors together, saying, Rejoice with me, for I have found the peace which I had lost. Likewise I say unto you, There is joy in the presence of the angels of God over one sinner that repenteth. And he said, A certain man had two sons. And the younger of them said to his father, Father, give me the portion of goods that falleth to me and he divided unto them his living. And not many days after the younger son gathered all together and took his journey into a far country, and there wasted his substance with riotous living. And when he had spent all, there arose a mighty famine in that land, and he began to be in want. And he went and joined himself to a citizen of that country, and he sent him into his fields to feed swine. And he would fain have filled his belly with the husks that the swine did eat, and no man gave unto him. And when he came to himself, glory to God, guys pay attention to this part, and when he, meaning the prodigal son, came to himself, he said, How many hired servants of my father's have bread enough and to spare, and I perish with hunger? I will arise and go to my father, and will say unto him, Father, I have sinned against heaven and before thee, and I am no more worthy to be called thy son. Make me as one of thy hired servants. And he arose and came to his father, but when he was yet a great way off, his father saw him and had compassion, and ran and fell on his neck and kissed him. And the son said unto him, Father, I have sinned against heaven and in thy sight, and am no more worthy to be called thy son. But the father said to his servants, Bring forth the best robe, and put it on him, and put a ring on his hand, and shoes on his feet. And bring hither the fatted calf, and kill it, and let us eat and be merry. For this my son was dead and is alive again, he was lost and is found. And they began to be merry. Now his elder son was in the field, and as he came and drew nigh to the house, he heard music and dancing. And he called one of the servants and asked what these things meant. And he said unto him, Thy brother is come, and thy father hath killed the fatted calf, because he hath received him safe and sound. And he was angry when not go in, therefore came his father out and entreated him. 
And he answering said to his father, Lo, these many years do I serve thee, neither transgressed I at any time thy commandment. And yet thou never gavest me a kid that I might make merry with my friends. But as soon as this thy son was come, which had devoured thy living with harlots, thou hast killed for him the fatted calf. And he said unto him, Son, thou art ever with me, and all that I have is thine. It was meet that we should make merry and be glad, for this thy brother was dead and is alive again, and was lost and is found. So guys, for whoever this is for, many of you are waiting for a prodigal. It can be a prodigal family member, it can be a prodigal friend, it can be a prodigal kingdom spouse, okay? The Lord is saying that this person is about to return. And in order for this person to be received in the right way, some of you may need an attitude adjustment. Now, I know you guys hear lots of words about prodigals returning, but the Lord put a different spin on this one. You see, he wanted, for those of you whom this is for, he wanted you guys to do a heart check before you can receive your prodigal. Some of you feel wronged by your prodigal. Some of you are like the brother, the older brother, who was resentful when the prodigal returned. Some of you are harboring a lot of resentment in your hearts to what this person, because you feel wronged by this person, whether it's a family member, a friend, or your kingdom spouse. You feel as though this person was wrong to walk away from you. And in truth and in fact, they were wrong because in walking away from you and their affiliation with you and their relationship with you, they were also walking out of the will of God. Okay? God placed them in your life for a reason. And they walked away from the relationship and they also walked away from you. Okay? And they walked away from the Lord by extension from the will of the Lord. So, the Lord is saying that even though you feel like you were wronged by this person, and even though you may be harboring resentment and hurt, you need to put all of that aside. You need to ask the Lord to prepare your heart for the return of this person so that you can receive them with gladness. Now, some of you, when this person comes back, you're going to be wondering, did God even discipline them for disappearing like that, for walking away from his will like that, okay? But notice that it was highlighted in this scripture, what the prodigal son had to endure before he came back. He was brought very low. He had a whole Job moment. He lost everything, Okay? And what made it worse than the situation with Job is that the prodigal son had to live with the fact that he brought this on himself. Unlike Job, who didn't really do anything, and yet all of these things happened to him. The prodigal son made bad choices, and that is how he ended up being stripped of everything. Okay? It was because of the choices he made. And for a lot of you guys, your prodigal is going through that process right now in the separation. They're realizing how much they gave up by making the wrong choices. They're realizing how much they had to let go of, how much they missed out on by walking away from the will of the Lord, by walking away from you, okay? So when they come back, they're coming back and they've been beaten with many stripes because they knew the right and they did the wrong. So the Lord is saying, don't be too hard on them when they come back. They've already been through it in the separation. Don't think that this was all fun and games for them. Maybe it was at first, but it certainly isn't now. By the time the prodigal son returned, he was all the way humbled, okay? He was all the way humble because of what he went through, because of how low he was brought down. So for whoever this is for, the person you've been praying for, the person you've been standing for, whether there's, that's a family member or a friend or 
your kingdom spouse. The Lord is saying they're about to return. But fix your heart before they do, okay? I hope that this word bless someone. And I will be back with another word as soon as the Lord releases me. Take care.